Hello guys, in this video we are going to talk about is can it gonna be the strongest TPS, tend to DPS character in the game or not. So stay tuned till the end, we are gonna talk about everything related to the DPS can it damages. Okay, so we really don't have much Dendro DPS characters in the game. If before that, we only have one DPS Dendro DPS character in the game. Five Shar, I think that's a sword character. But now we are getting the another DPS character. And trust me, guys, Skinnich is looking super, super strong. Not only the weapon that he's carrying, Claymore, makes him the highest dealing, damage dealing character in the game. But the playstyle, this, his playstyle is so versatile that you can walk around the map can shoot the gun from the range and the ultimate also gives the rapid amount of damage Kinnich is based on the burgeon damage burgeon damage which is the com combination of dendro and the pyro so you can use bandit with Na uh, nahida bennett shangling and even bezu so we already know that whichever character that we use is with the bandit automatically becomes very strong because Barrett gives around 1000 to 1500 attack and yes Kenich is based on the attack percentage purely is based on the attack percentage guys look at this video that Kenich is dealing amazing damage even when you're playing Kenich solo Kenich solo damage are also very very high but if you combine them with a good team Kenich can actually finish off raiding shogun the highest hp boss in the game within a second that's insane you can is gonna be the very very strong character in the game and don't worry about the weapons there are plenty of free weapons there are plenty of four star weapons in the game that are going to be very very strong on kinich i i already have created a five star video for kinich and i'm going to create a four star video also where i'm gonna talk about every four star weapon in the game free forgeable and the bp bonds that you can use on kinich and kinich gonna be very very strong on the field guys so kinich is must pull guys don't skip on Kenich if you want a good DPS character in your team. Also, pulling on Kenich makes your exploration very, very easy because Kenich is literally a Spider-Man, a grappling character that we have, and whichever characters just grapple in any game, we call them or call that character a Spider-Man. And look at Kenich can actually grapple in the air, like anywhere he can grapple anywhere, and there's no restriction to the grapple. I think in the Natland there's no restriction, but if you go outside the Natland, it's pretty good. Still pretty good that you can actually grapple on many things that you cannot reach, cannot reach before. And acceleration is pretty pretty amazing. Like who uh, the uh, guys that players that just started playing the Genshin Impact, they can actually pull off some. Natland characters like Molani, Kinnich and com uh, future coming Sh Shilonen, they can make their life easier when they're going to explore Genshin Impact. So, uh, so that's it for this video guys. I hope you like it. If you do, please hit the like button. Share this video with a friend who is planning to wish on Kinnich and subscribe my channel for more amazing videos in the future.